What's up guys, I'm King Elfie, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I've been experimenting the last few days with the replay mod to incorporate it into my upcoming LP series, and I figured I'd show you guys how to download and install it today. Uh, we're going to go over how to use it another day, I figured it would be better for a separate video, because that'll be a pretty long one. But, let's get right into it. Alright, so we're going to start with a fresh.minecraft folder for this tutorial. We'll generate that when we open the game. I'm going to put three links in the description below, one for the replay mod, one for the fabric installer, and one for FFmpeg, all of which are necessary to run the replay mod in 116. So I'm going to show you how to download all of those. So just click the links and they'll bring you to all these pages you're seeing here. So for this one here, you just got to hit download on the latest version, which is 116.1, and that'll just download the file, hit keep, and that'll give you the replay mod, replay mod jar. Uh, if you go to the Fabric installer, just download the installer here. Uh, you can do Universal Jar or the Windows EXE, it doesn't really matter. So we'll get that. And then when you go to FFmpeg, just hit the download button here. You can uh, download the BZ2 file, but you'll need uh, another program to open that if you don't have like WinRAR or something. So my suggestion is go down here to the uh, Windows builds. Oh. There we go, Windows builds, and then just download the latest build here. It should be automatically set up. So hit download build, and that'll give you the FFmpeg file. All right, cool. So now let's generate our .minecraft folder. We'll open that up. I'll log in real quick. All right, and then we'll hit play, and we'll download all of the files necessary for the .minecraft folder. Uh, as soon as that's done, we're going to exit the game, and we'll just start installing our stuff. Alright, first we're going to install the Fabric Launcher, so just double click the jar file and it'll open up this guy right here. So it's just like installing Optifine. It'll open up the EXE, you hit install, and it'll give you this pop-up that it's successfully installed. That is pretty much all you need to do for that. Um, I would suggest launching the game afterwards just to make sure that your Fabric Launcher actually is there. Make sure you choose that profile, hit play, and let it download all the necessary files again. Next we're going to install the replay mod, which is actually super easy. So you're going to open up your .minecraft folder, you're going to go to the mods folder that was generated, and you're just going to drag the replay mod inside that folder, and you're going to launch the game again. So you won't be able to see it immediately, uh, just like we did with the fabric launcher, but once the game launches here, Drag that over onto the proper screen. There we go. You'll be able to see you have the replay viewer, which means that uh, you'll be able to start actually recording scenes. Alright, so now that we have the fabric launcher and the replay mod installed, we've got to finish off with the last file, which is the FFmpeg. So to do that, we're going to need a short recording. That's why I'm here in this random world. So we're just going to start a recording gonna fly around a little bit. Just need a few seconds of footage here. Doesn't have to be anything special. Stop recording and save to the title screen. You can view your clip by hitting the replay viewer here. So we got a five second film. Just double click it to enter. There I am over there. So I'll show you how to do all the different things in a sec here. I'm just gonna show you how to get the FFmpeg first. So we're gonna jump back to the beginning of that footage. We're going to drop a position key point in a time key, key frame, and we're just going to drop another one like over here, I guess. Just jump forward, drop another one, because we want to be able to save the file, because we need this screen here to be able to finish off. So you're going to scroll down here until you see the thing that says Command. Then you're going to minimize your game. So from here, we're going to actually do the FFmpeg file. So open up the zip that installed. You're going to have this file right here. You're going to want to copy that or extract it to, uh, we need to go to your C drive. Then you're going to go to program files 86. And you're going to extract the FFmpeg file here. So it's going to ask for administrative permission. Just give it to it. It's going to extract the files. And there we go. There's the file right there. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open this. 
then go to bin and you're going to find this file right here. So ffmpeg.exe. You're going to right click that and hit properties and you're going to want this file path right here. So copy the entire thing from C all the way to the end of bin. So copy, open up your Minecraft again, go to command, hit paste. And that's going to give you the file path there. Then you can do another backslash and do ffmpeg.exe. So this is what's going to allow you to render your videos. That's just giving a uh, file extension to the ffmpeg. So after that, you can actually hit render. Might take a second. And now it'll render the footage that you had there. And that's how you install the replay mod and all the stuff necessary for it. So that's going to do it for today. Hope that little tutorial helped you guys out. And we'll go over how to use the replay mod in the next video. That'll be a pretty long one. But as always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.